Well, joining me now to react is Harmy Dillon, attorney and Trump 2020 advisory council member and Francisco Hernandez, immigration attorney. Thank you both. You, you and I are, are hearing this, these results in real time. I've got the uh, U.S.-Mexico joint declaration in front of me, and you heard it. Mexican National Guard to their southern border. Uh, migrants who are seeking adjudication for asylum sent back to Mexico. Mexico agrees with that. And the whole thing reviewed uh, 90 days from now to see whether or not Mexico is actually fulfilling it. So, Harmeet, when you look at this uh, and you consider what America gave up, which is a tariff that never was imposed but was threatened, your reaction? Well, tariffs are not the favored tool of most conservatives, Pete. However, desperate times call for desperate measures, as we can see here. It worked, and I think it is a great result for America, and actually a pretty good result for Mexico as well, because Mexico's actually been getting the benefit of allowing the current situation. There are a lot of remittances, some $40 billion going back to Mexico every year, and, and it's not working. And so neighbors need to work out their disputes. And now, in addition to the terms that you mentioned, it's also going to include the National Guard actually fanning out throughout Mexico, interdicting uh, gangs and smuggling rings and helping with that, and also providing some support and even potentially jobs to those asylum seekers who are waiting for their applications to be processed in America. So I think it's going to be actually great for those people who are seeking to come to this country as well. They can be in a safe environment and be supported there in Mexico while America makes a rapid determination about whether they're eligible or not. Yeah, Francisco, you're an immigration attorney. You understand how dysfunctional <laughs> this process is. Uh, would you acknowledge this is a big win for the White House and, and, and the American people? It is uh, uh, smoke and mirrors, people. We're not even talking immigration reform. Guys, not only are we now admitting that we can't get the wall built, we're now admitting that, that Mexico's, admitted yet. Not gonna, no. Mexico's not going to pay for the wall. And more, worse, we're going to pay for these development of jobs in Mexico. So not only are we admitting that Mexico's not going to pay for the wall, we're going to give them money to employ these Central Americans so they don't come here. And we're not no, even we're talking not about their money. That's, that's not what we're doing. Nonsense, Francisco, Francisco. Oh, yeah, we we're not we're giving all, them any money. We all react. We're not. Read, Fran be read between the lines because they're no, saying no, I'm, no, I'm programs, reading the lines. I'm reading the lines, the lines right here, Francisco. Francisco, the lines right here here are that I've Mexico will offer jobs to to folks who have been in these migrant caravans Me there they are not paying Mexico we're not paying for the it's deployment of their jobs. national we're not paying for the deployment of their national guards we're not pay paying for asylum seekers yes, who are, are sent back to Mexico ultimately uh, guys, this Francisco, is how can you not acknowledge news. that if Mexico Congress won't, hold on guys hold on guys Mexico's not even Francisco. the reason people are coming here from Mexico is because Mexico can't provide jobs for its own citizens and we're Doesn't saying Mexico's going to provide not jobs not for can't. Central Americans no, they're, but no they cannot would you not acknowledge that their own government and the cartel are facilitating this. And so if we can get a crackdown on the way people are smuggled and treated as they come into this country, that's a win for both countries and for the humanitarian crisis we have at our border. I mean, how, why what can't you acknowledge, babies, Francisco, why speak. can't you we acknowledge are our head in this the is, sand, these are good guys. steps in the right direction? What happened? It, it, there is no step. We're going to end up paying for it. And so at least as long as you guys agree that we're not going to build a wall. Is that what you guys are ready to agree uh, No, I don't think me? we're agreeing uh, on that. We're not talking about that. That's a separate well, issue. We're talking about what's solved. happening right now in the next well, few Well, you can days take that up with tariff. the courts who are, who are been disrupting this president's plan to attempt to build portions of that wall, no doubt about it. But that, it's a non sequitur to tonight, and I guess you're trying to distract away from a clear victory when these tariffs were criticized by many. Well, they hurt our economy. Well, is, is, it the, is it the right tool? Stupid and they, it, isn't, they've worked. it isn't just a political victory. It is a human rights victory because children are being smuggled and abused. Girls are yes. being raped. Raped. This is I an untenable situation from a human rights perspective. We got to do something about it. We can't wait for Democrats you, and even uh, even fake Republicans who aren't willing to protect our country. We Francisco, have to do when, this today. When you talk about so, policy, so how declaring? are you not pointing at Congress? How are you not pointing at Congress? Well, I am pointing out at Congress. Absolutely. They failed to do their job. Absolutely. Which causes us to come up with these crazy ideas that tariffs were going to stop people from coming over while Mexico is going to provide jobs to the Central Americans. brought an opportunity where we've got new work. concessions from Mexico and we're going to review them in 90 days. How is that not a Guys, win? Mexico wasn't going to pay those tariffs. You and I were. Our avocados okay. and enchiladas were going to There are no tariffs. The tariffs there are were a no negotiating tariffs. tool. Right, now Mexico point. is so going Mex to pay... Mexico's paying for the internal security of its National Guard. Mexico is paying to, paying it, to house and provide it, jobs for those refugees. Read the report. It, read the agreement. It, it, it's very it, clear. It, it, I, well, you haven't even read the agreement because it just happened in the last hour. Well, but if you I read, read between the lines, I can read. It says, I, read it. I know that it, it says we're not paying for jobs for Mexicans <laughs> or for migrants in Mexico. That's what well, it does. Right. Where are those jobs going to come from? Mexico's paying for it.
Mexico well, Mexico's going to have to figure that out. But in the meantime, we get to protect our sovereignty, which is the point of this entire let's exercise. Come back. Let's come back tomorrow and you show me where it says that Mexico's going to well, pay Well, in 90 for days, jobs. we will be well, back you, here. You, We're evaluating you, it in 90 days. Uh, maybe you can come join us on uh, Fox and Friends we in the morning and we'll talk about it. We haven't seen anything in writing. Well, we've got to leave it right there. It's a debate ongoing, but it's, it's tough when you're trying to debate something and ultimately there is a win Smoke and we can't even acknowledge Smoke and mirrors. It's a big there you win. go. Armin Francisco, thank you very much for your time and differing perspectives.